up, Brittany Netta. Brittany's hometown is Wachung. She's an analyst on Wall Street for a Fortune 250 financial technology firm. She enjoys mentorship programs. She knew she was growing up when she received her first paycheck and had to pay her own taxes. Brittany Netta. And let's welcome Emma's group back to the stage in this group of 10. Here they are. Shout out their names. Get the judges to write them down on the ballot. Let's hear it. Brittany Netta. Brittany hopes to share her story of persistence in climbing to an executive role on Wall Street so that it empowers other women worldwide. She was the muse for Steve Madden's shoe collection, and she says her style is edgy yet elegant. She is Brittany Netta. And let's welcome Emma's group of 10 back in their evening gowns. Let's hear it for them, folks. Show them some love. We also have a Miss Photogenic, and she is Brittany Netta. Congratulations, ladies. You can go back to your places now. Three more to go. Brittany Netta. Brittany Netta. <laughs> Brittany hopes to share her story of persistence in climbing to an executive level role on Wall Street by speaking at women's empowerment conferences worldwide. Brittany Netta. And let's welcome back the entire group of 17 one final time in their evening gowns for competitive judging. Shout out their names, folks. Influence the judges. Brittany Netta. Brittany comes to us from Wachung. She's an analyst on Wall Street for a Fortune 250 financial technology firm. She enjoys mentoring young women. Brittany Netta. And let's welcome back the entire group of 17 one more time in their swimsuit. Let's hear from them folks. Shout out their names. And our fifth top five finalist is Brittany Netta. Finally, we have Brittany Netta. from Pamela Masucci. She wants to know, what do you think is the biggest problem facing young women today, and what could you do to help change that? I think that the biggest problem facing young women today is women's inequality in the workplace. Women make 80 cents to the dollar men make, and that's not because they are undereducated or underqualified. It is because of discrimination and stereotypes that they face. If I were to be crowned as Miss New Jersey USA, I would use my platform with the Built by Girls organization to inspire more young women to pursue careers in male-dominated fields. Because we are just as capable of men as leading in careers. Thank you. Brittany Netta. Or will she be Brittany Netta? <laughs> Brittany says what looks like a setback is really setting you up for the next level of your destiny. Brittany Netta.
So ladies and gentlemen, the next name that I am going to announce is the first runner-up. If Miss New Jersey USA 2019 is unable to fulfill her obligations for the year, the runner-up becomes Miss New Jersey. So again, the next name I'm going to announce is the first runner-up. She is Brittany Netta.